What if I told you there was a simple and economical way to simultaneously dose two of the most important supplements for a reef aquarium with a single reactor? Stay tuned. Hello, this is Jeremy from Coralview. Welcome back to another episode of CVTV. Over the last year or so, there has been a revival in Kalkwasser use amongst reef aquarists. What was once a forgotten method, reefers again are using Kalkwasser as a sole source of calcium and alkalinity, while others are using it as a supplement for a calcium reactor or two-part dosing regimen. In this video, we will cover the key benefits of Kalkwasser, touch on some of the dangers associated with dosing it, and how to dose it safely and effectively using the Reef Octopus Calc Reactor. Calcium hydroxide, lime water, or more commonly known in the hobby as Kalkwasser, supplements equal amounts of both calcium and alkalinity in one simple solution. When Kalkwasser is mixed with water, it forms a balanced solution of calcium and hydroxide ions. The addition of calcium ions will supplement the calcium levels in the tank while the hydroxide ions react with the dissolved CO2 to form bicarbonate and therefore supplementing alkalinity. A key benefit of Kalkwasser is that when properly added, it will help maintain elevated pH levels and it will encourage optimal coral growth. Low pH is commonly a problem for most home aquariums due to high efficiency doors and windows. Kalkwasser's solution has a natural pH of 12.4, which helps bring the overall aquarium pH up. A side perk to Kalkwasser use is its ability to help maintain phosphate levels low by precipitating out of solution and making it unavailable for algae, cyano, and unsightly dinoflagellates. When it comes to supplementing calcium and alkalinity, it does not get any cheaper or cleaner than Kalkwasser. Kalkwasser is cheap and most aquarium source Kalkwasser is lab grade with almost no impurities. Over the years, Kalkwasser was commonly mixed into a freshwater reservoir managed by an auto top off system to slowly supplement calc solution throughout the day to replenish evaporated water. Although this approach is simple, inexpensive, and does work, it also has led to many catastrophic tank crashes with total loss of corals. If calc is overdosed, the aquarium pH can instantly spike to unsafe levels, precipitate out alkalinity, and deplete CO2 levels within the water, resulting in coral death. Another shortcoming of ATO method is the dosing fluctuations due to changes in the rate of evaporation of our tanks. Our aquarium's water evaporates differently throughout the day and more so throughout the seasons. This makes it difficult to supplement equal amounts 24-7. Another drawback of the ATO method is most water top-off containers are not airtight. Kalkwasser degrades and loses its efficacy when exposed to air. Let's not forget that Kalkwasser is very hard on pumps. Even when the pumps are properly maintained, Kalkwasser will shorten their lifespan drastically. A more efficient and safer method of adding Kalkwasser to your system is by using the Reef Octopus Kalkwasser Reactor. This reactor is a sealed container that automatically houses your Kalkwasser solution in an airtight environment, preserving its freshness and potency. Our ODI water is injected into the bottom of the Reef Octopus Calc Reactor, forcing out a highly saturated solution from the output located at the top of the reactor. A slow RPM motor with an attached stirring rod gently sifts the Kalkwasser into solution a few times a day to maintain a continuous source of supersaturated Kalkwasser. The use of a programmable dosing pump like the Kamor X4 or the new X1 pump can provide a highly effective and safe way to feed Kalkwasser into a reef system. The advantage of using the Reef Octopus Kalkwasser reactor paired with a reliable liquid doser is that it always allows for the utmost control to ensure that only a small, predictable amount of Kalkwasser is added to your system at any given time. The Reef Octopus Calc Reactor is available in three different sizes. The smallest model, the KS100, is a 4 inch by 27 and half inch tall reactor for aquariums up to 130 gallons. The KS150 is a 6 inch body by 26 inch tall reactor for aquariums ranging from 100 to 200 gallons. 
And the KS250, the largest reactor of the group, is a 10 inch body by 26 inch tall reactor capable of handling aquariums between 200 and 300 gallons. For the installation of our Reef Octopus Kalkwasser reactor, we will need the following items. Kalkwasser, RODI water and reservoir, a reliable dosing pump to feed the reactor, and an appliance timer or controllable outlet to periodically operate the motor. Place the Reef Octopus Calc Reactor upright on a flat and stable surface away from high traffic areas and out of the reach of children. Using a barbed adapter that can be found at a local hardware store, connect the flexible tubing included with your Kimor pump to the reactor's input located at the bottom of the reactor. Connect the other end of the line to your Kimor's output. Now attach a length of tubing to the dosing pump's input and then secure the other end of the line to the freshwater reservoir. If you have one for your system's ATO, we suggest you share in a single vessel. Now take another length of tubing and connect it to the output location at the top of the reactor. Secure the line to your sump in a high flow area away from pumps and heaters. Loosen the screws on the lid enough so that the top will rotate slightly counterclockwise and lift up. If needed, the screw under the lid can be unscrewed to detach the motor with lid from the mixing rod for easy filling and maintenance. Fill the reactor three quarters of the way with RODI water. Next, add Kalkwasser powder. If you have a KS100, add 90 to 120 grams of Kalkwasser. For the KS150, add 120 to 150 grams of Kalkwasser. The KS250 will require 150 to 180 grams of Kalkwasser. Avoid adding excess amounts of calc to your reactor, as it will cause the Kalkwasser to cake up at the bottom and burn out the motor. Please make note of your Kalkwasser warning label. Kalkwasser is highly caustic and extreme care should be used when handling it. Using a spoon, Manually premix the water and calc water into a calc slurry and top off the reactor with RODI water till it reaches the upward elbow located at the top of the reactor. Wait about an hour for the calc water to settle before dosing. Fully saturated calc solution will be clear. Milky, undissolved calc water should never be added to the tank as it will quickly spike pH and alkalinity to fatal levels. Replace the reactor lid with attached stirrer rod into the designated spot with the screws and rotate the lid slightly clockwise. Tighten each screw to lock and seal the lid to the body. Plug the power adapter into the timer or controllable outlet and set it to mix for 15 minutes every two hours. The stirrer should never be left on or used 24 seven. Before we begin dosing, we must test our calcium and alkalinity of our aquarium water and if needed, supplement to our desired levels prior to using the calc reactor. Do not use calc water for this purpose, as it will significantly impact your aquarium's pH and CO2 levels. We suggest using a separate solution of calcium and alkalinity. After the slurry has settled, we can begin dosing our calc. It is much safer to dose less and test than to overdose. Let's start by priming the reactor and lines by continuously running the dosing pump till our liquid exits the output line. Then, set the doser to disperse half of the volume required to replenish your system's evaporated water on a daily basis. So, if my 220 gallon system evaporates 5 gallons of water a day, I will set my doser to disperse 2.5 gallons in small amounts throughout the day. We highly recommend you carefully monitor your pH when adding Kalkwasser. If your pH increases more than 0.2, decrease the amount of calc added. In addition, testing of calcium and alkalinity will help you dial in your dosage to the exact amount needed to sustain the demands of your system. Here are answers to some commonly asked questions. How often do you have to refill or clean the reactor? It really depends on the system's demand. For most reefers, the calc washer should be topped off every couple of weeks or as needed. It would be a good idea to clean the reactor on a monthly basis. What happens if calc washer is overdosed or dosed too quickly? Your pH will spike and you will likely result in coral death. 
What if my calc dosing is not keeping up with my aquarium's demand for calcium and alkalinity? On higher demand systems, you may be required to use two-part or calcium reactor to supplement the bulk of your alkalinity and calcium needs. Well, that's all for this video. If you have any issues or questions, do not hesitate to visit our support portal at www.coralview.com forward slash support. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, follow us on Twitter at CoralView, and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash CoralView Aquarium Products.